शांति 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 जले Namaste viewers and friends, welcome to the new video today, uh, which is attributes of the what types. So before I start uh, talking about attributes of the what types, uh, so that the video doesn't become too long, as then you guys won't be interested to uh, watch it so long here, understand. So I would like to introduce a little bit about the attributes. Attributes are the peculiar characteristics of any individual in Ayurveda based on the dosha. Dosha is a very basic uh, concept in Ayurveda, which is also known as Prakriti. And after Prakriti only, you can find out what is Vikriti, which is basically how the disorders are formed. So uh, attributes could be physical, mental, emotional, uh, psycho-spiritual. So I cannot cover everything here, but uh, it is my attempt actually uh, in the series of the dosha videos which I am recording here to introduce you a little bit about the attributes of the dosha so that you can relate to yourself. So first of all, um, uh, what individuals have light and flexible lean bodies? So uh, frame is on the smaller side uh, with light muscles and the fat. So you would never find these people to be like overweight or plump or um, fatty, you know, they are always on the lean side. They often appear to be too tall or the short. You never find them on the medium stretcher or the height. They are either too tall or the short. What types generally tend to have a dry skin? When it comes to skin, it is dry, which can get chapped in the cold season and also looks rough. So they have to really take care of their skin because it gets dry. So they have to moisturize it. Uh, and then any other doshas like uh, cough or the pit for that sake. And circulation is poor due to which uh, their hands, the feet often uh, get cold because of the poor circulation. That's why it is very important for the Vat people to keep uh, walking and you know doing yoga and at the same time um, it's also good to massage because that improves your circulation. Well I'm not going to go on the therapy part here because that's a separate video I'll record about. So uh, they are uncomfortable in the cold weather especially if it is dry and the windy cold. So they are pretty uh, comfortable in the summer and the spring season and these individuals have uh, variable appetite when it comes to desire to eat so they are the ones who would never be so attracted to the food or jumping on the food you know they would always say oh yeah i can eat um, maybe i'm not so hungry why not i can try a bit not as the pit people who are voracious eaters so here their thirst is also variable their digestive ability and strength is variable as well they often experience digestive issues and problems with absorption of nutrients. So they will, you would find these people deficient in nutrients, vital nutrients and the minerals for the same reason because they eat, they might be eating, being consciously uh, thinking about eating, uh, consuming certain nutrients but they might not be able to absorb it. That's why they have to really um, uh, try to arouse their agni or the digestive fire. Apart from that, they often get bloated. if. If you talk about the symptoms in digestion, they are more prone to gas, gastric issues and flatulence, bloating and constipation. These are the most important indications you can find out if you are looking out for the what types. I mean, in case they come and meet you, it starts with the dosha, right? So they eat fast and they also eat little. So that is also not good for them because you should always eat slow as per Ayurveda. You should chew your food, you should feel it, you should smell it. And But in their case, they always try to eat fast and then they eat little because their appetite is short term. Their agni gets doused, you know, it gets completely uh, obliterated or uh, gone uh, because of their fluctuating vata. So they have to really work on um, eating some appetizers and also not to drink water. And there are certain things that you should avoid before uh, having a food. So other physical characteristics uh, of typical vata types would be they have small dressed eyes, which are no normally lustreless. They have dry thin uh, hair, often curly. 
then they have dry and rough skin as already told you and they also have a uh, protruding broken or irregular teeth so what uh, people walk quickly and always in a rush you'll always find these people in the haste and the rush i mean they are light kind of fickle minded i should not say exactly drifters but they're a little bit fickle minded and confused and always thinking and going through too many things at the same time so they are mobile and they need constant movement so one peculiar quality about vat people is they are always on the move they cannot be you know fixed or positioned at the one place and of course they are the most um, you know the crazy travelers i said crazy because uh, they would also do crazy things while they travel all kind of experiences so they in a way they are very interesting people to travel with however if you're looking for a stable companion to travel with they are not the ones so they love jogging running sports and physical activity because they have this vat energy inside them which likes them to make them move all the time however they get easily exhausted because they have less prana or the energy within their system Wats are drawn towards a lot of uh, sexual activity as well. They are very sexually active, but excess sex actually is one of the reason of vat aggravation. At the same time, um, they are not so strong in the sense of prolonging the sexual act because they get exhausted and um, uh, they basically look out for the spiritual connection, sometimes through the bodily connection, which doesn't happen unless there is a merging of two things at the same time, uh, which is a union uh, between the two partners. and lot of men uh, of the vat types also face uh, sexual impotency and um, also uh, problem of premature ejaculation and the women might face a frigidity and uh, lack of lubrication so this was about the sexual aspect of vat and regarding the sleep vat individuals have shallow uh, what you should say the interrupted sleep and they often experience insomnia of time to time in their life especially when the vat gets aggravated and what aggravates the vat different reasons it could be food it could be anxiety fear worries anything um uh, we give a lot of importance to food but i think anxiety and worries are the very very important and prominent reasons for vat aggravation in fact any kind of aggravation but specifically the vat one so uh psychologically what uh, people have quick sharp minds they are very witty and intelligent people very creative uh, mentally active mentally flexible excellent imaginations and they are the ones who originate who are the innovative ones to bring out or uh, roll out a visionary idea which might become an invention or a great uh, uh, boon for the mankind so there never had been any great invention or discovery or innovation without um, the initiation of the vat types so in that sense uh, uh, the world owes a lot to them for any innovation so when in balance then they are very joyful and happy people so they have to learn to keep themselves in balance they talk quick and they talk a lot that is one more important uh, quality or the trait of the vat ones that you will find and they get easily excited um, uh, if they argue then they would argue to the point where uh, there is no logic left but they still keep going arguing uh, because uh, they tend to react right they tend to react then to respond so that is one thing they have to work upon and the pith also has that kind of a quality but pith people would actually think a bit and then they will respond whereas the cough people would really keep quiet and would take their time maybe they will come after two days and respond so uh, they are quick to decide as well and that's why they find themselves a lot in their lives to land up in problems because of their wrong and impulsive decisions so they can be disruptive they can be impulsive and this can also lead to a compulsive habits in the behavior for that they have to work upon because they lose credibility and trust part so what's a quite loving people but someone who loves out of uh, uh, loneliness fear you know so uh, they need to connect with themselves they need to love themselves and find their true connection with themselves so that they can connect with others and at the same time it is very important for them to connect to a little bit of pith and cuff types of personality because they really fulfill them and their fears are darkness then fears we all have fears right so the vat types have uh, certain fears like fear of darkness and loneliness the height and the enclosed spaces these are the absolute no no for uh, what types they cannot be in the enclosed spaces they are they have what you go in the height uh, fear of the heights and they cannot be lonely the moment they start being alone they start getting depressed so it is very important for them to have a healthy social circle then anxiety insecurity and nervousness are the common traits among the what types so on one side uh, 
they are always ready to change uh, a move. That is a basic characteristic of the Vata individuals. Whereas on the opposite side, it is very difficult for them to be stable, to be at one place and to commit. And that also reflects in their personal choices that they make. Because it is very difficult for Vata people to commit to one person in a relationship or in a marriage because that requires stability and commitment. So they always like to move and uh, movement has its own beauty but at the same time stability and uh, commitment also has its own importance in life. So they need to learn to balance it. I think the tougher people when they come in their life would try to make them a little bit more uh, stable and uh, stationed at one place. So their faith is quite variable. When I'm talking about faith, it's about whether it's a religious faith or spiritual uh, faith or the cult or the belief in any cult or any, um, any yoga or any guru. It's all very variable. So they keep fluctuating. So fluctuation is the one important aspect of the Vat because you know, have you seen Vat air? It never becomes stable. It always keeps moving. In fact, the air is the most, most unstable entity on this universe. So they are, low, low, they are low in willpower and also they often feel insecure and ungrounded. They have a lot of clarity and abilities of clairvoyance. So they are very intuitive, they can sense things. If they, you talk with them for a few minutes, they would find out a lot of things about you. If they, I mean, they have to be awakened. Not everybody can do that who is what. They have to be spiritually awakened and their chakra should be awakened for them to do that. And they grasp things pretty faster. They are the ones who will catch and they learn pretty well by listening actually. They are not so great uh, when you tell them to write, but they are really great when you tell them to speak. They are excellent communicators, uh, but they are also quick to forget things. So they are very forgetful and absent-minded people for the same reason, because uh, fluctuation, right? They make money quickly. They make money quickly because um, they, they really have very innovative visionary ideas when they bring, uh, they bring those ideas to uh, uh, productivity then it turns out to be good profit but they tend to spend quickly as well. So they are not good savers and they are horrible financial planners. So do not hire them for your financial planning if you are starting a business with them because you are going to mess up with them for sure and they are going to mess up with them and the whole thing finances. Behaviors that are drawn towards what I would say uh, traveling, then spending erratic hours doing something in an obsession and then continual stimulation, like continual stimulation, right? And frequent changes. So you could say uh, those hippie people we see all around, right? The people who are always in the trance. I'm not saying that the what people you won't find in a stable uh, management organization or institutions or positions, but that is about the extreme of the what. Uh, disorders they normally get in their life are constipation, then bloating, as I said, flatulence and di digestive disorders, you know, constipation is a very common thing, but they can also get hemorrhoids, which has some pith involvement actually, then distension, weakness, arthritis, then breathlessness in the chest tissues, mental confusion, palpitations, and of course, panic attacks, then they can also get nervous disorders and uh, twitches and tics mental confusion I already said and low back pain and sciatica that is also uh, connected to the vat thing if you don't know sciatica and the low back pain only when vat is aggravated so what can irritate them the loud uh, sorry the loud noises drugs alcohol smoking uh, excessive intake of uh, caffeine and uh, sugar can definitely derange vat also exposure to cold uh, weather and foods also aggravate vats instantly. So these people should avoid to be in extreme cold weather. Sticky to, uh, sorry, sticking to routines and to calm down is uh, difficult for these people, but that's absolutely important, especially vat is aggravated. And dry, cold, windy seasons of autumn and winter tend to increase vat. That is, that is something that they need to avoid. They need to dress warmly and take a special care of their health during this season. Warm, moist, slightly oily foods are beneficial. So are warm spices. Uh, especially living in warm and the humid weather is extremely good for them. But uh, to indulge in the activities like steam, sauna, jacuzzi or uh, um, like uh, putting a humidifiers in their home, especially in the dry winters and uh, massages and steaming is extremely important. Massage is very important and steaming is extremely important for the what aggravated people. And to live in a regular routine is extremely important as well. So in the end, because this would become too long, I can speak 
um, on and on and on but keep going on but uh, I have a time restriction I don't want to make it too long the general guidelines for balancing walk so if you are the one and by now you have figured it out by watching this video till now that yes I am the what type then what you're gonna do so the, the here are a few of the brief guidelines uh, can't detail so much here so first thing first is keep yourself warm and moist and keep calm and relax a lot that's absolutely important avoid raw foods yes you heard it right because people are so crazy and fanatic about raw foods these days that everybody is eating raw yes pit and cuff can eat raw that too i would put a little bit of caution depends on the season because ayurvedic diet is completely based on season time of the day and state of the health of your doshas condition of your doshas your mental emotional physical uh, psychological state however for what people raw food is a big no so please avoid raw food then avoid extreme cold weather and conditions as well uh, that is also very important and eat warm foods and the spices next is to live in a proper routine which i would say a regular routine you know it's not time punctuality it's about routine and discipline like when you eat when you wake up when you uh, take your coffee or actually coffee should not be taken but they take your tea um, everything has to be regularized and choose a work last but not least choose the work which doesn't stress you a lot that's very important because most of the stress comes from the workplace and we can't avoid it so you have to make this decision if you want to take care of your health if you want to be healthy which is the biggest wealth health is the biggest wealth so you have to make sure that you do not take a work responsibility which is extremely demanding and target oriented and puts a lot of pressure on your nervous system uh, because you are not designed to work like that so friends uh, hope uh, this video was informative to get you acquainted about the VAT types and also the general guidelines to balance the VAT in the end. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, uh, stay fit and healthy. Thank you. Namaste. For more such informative videos on yoga and Ayurveda, subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the notification bell. Thank you.